You know what I wish Disney would do? I know they did High School Musical 1 and 2 as a TV movie on their channel. And then they did High School Musical 3 as a movie... As a movie for theaters. But it's still a Disney movie. It still counts. I wish they would... They play other movies on here that have been in theaters. So why can't they do High School Musical 3? If they're going to do a marathon of High School 1 and 2, why can't they do Add 3 with it? That's just my opinion. But anyways, I've seen this so many times I don't need to watch it all. I'm gonna go clean my room if I go back to work to me. So yeah, I emptied, if I can show you, I emptied that out and I'm taking that back upstairs and I'm gonna use that bag as to fill things up to bring to downstairs to go through stuff. So let's a good one. And this is the bag I was talking about that I emptied that I can add more stuff to if I need to thoroughly go through it. So I found my dream diary book and every time I had a dream I wrote it down in here. But then when I started vlogging I started doing it on vlogs. So, wanna come for some new movies and read some old, old ones with me? Um, I'm trying to figure out where to uh, set up the camera so that we can do this. But it doesn't look like I have much places for you. Maybe if I move this, move this out a little bit, move that one. I don't know if you can see me, but here we go. I even dated him. So on 8 16, 2008, this was a crazy weird dream that didn't make any sense. And my dreams never do. At all. Sense at all. We was in this place, and this little blonde girl was there and see what oh she was in the mud because it was all over her back and they took her out the window then she was hanging around me and i told her big sister that she knew me knows me she asked me if i could help her and change her sister's diaper and i said no have your dad do it and she said Dad, can you change your diaper? And he said, Oh, I guess this was 817. My bad. No, I can't. I got this thing on my leg. Then I look, took, look. I don't know, it says LAK book. I don't know. Oh no, it says something back of it. I don't know what I was trying to write there. And say, the little girl with shorts on, the dad said to the big sister if she could help the helmet. And she said, no. He said, well, then we will have to put the helmet back on. Her head and her gloves on and boots on. Then mom yelled, Throw the wind through the window, asking for the CDs over to the left, and everyone else was running around like crazy people. So by the door with stuff all in the way, I opened it and said, "How about these two CDs, Mom? They had blue water-like stuff inside them." She said, "No, get." No, go put them back. I didn't want them. Then she was climbing out the window. She tells the guy that place is an so annoying. I don't like it. It's hard to get in. He said to the fellow. 
he'll show her a faster way in. I had two dreams into one. It was weird. I was on stage with this person, but I didn't know what we was doing on stage. I got off to the left and got lost and got lost on trying to get away from her. Then I went through this door that I was hoping was outside, but this debt had nothing, had netting all around it, and people on the right was fighting, and so I went to the left, thinking if I make a hole in the net, I could climb out, but it didn't work, so I moved over so they couldn't see me, and I tried to lift up the net and jump down. I woke up right after that. Um, okay, don't know if you can see me. I'm gonna check and see how that worked. If not, I might put you over there. I don't know. Okay, it worked up there, but I thought it didn't, wouldn't, so I moved it here. So, I don't know, that's probably not that good. make it work. Car dream on March 26, 2009. I had a weird car house moving dream. First off, mom and I was leaving a parking lot and my bre middle brother was dicking around and my mom lost control of the car and so she ran into a house. She did a hit and run thing. She said they will never know who did it. No one was home. Then we was in someone else's car with my stuff inside. When we was driving to my old house that I lived in now, I was packing up my stuff in the car because we was moving to a smaller place. So this big family came over and they got in the car and my Mom says goodbye to my grandma on my mom's side and went inside. I said, I guess she's not going. So they took off with me in the car. Wow, what a dream. But it was... Oh, this is a different dream. See, I don't understand... Oh, more on, I don't know, I don't know why it, this was all messed up, maybe I made a mistake, I don't know, but I'm going to go and find out what's, what's going on. I don't know, because it said dream 14, so I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, more of it's on this page. And this guy said, here you want to get to know your dad, find, here you go. Then we parked at my really old house driveway, and my mom walked over and gets in. Then we go to my new small house, but when my mom want, wanted people gone, no one was leaving. So mom went to go back to the other house. I said, hope no one tries to take anything. I saw on the wall things made out of pennies. Took a picture of a sunset. And the guy who said was my dad said, Oh, she found a sunset. As we went to leave, I hugged my grandma on my mom's side, told her to get them out. We are driving around for a little bit. Then we was getting ready to leave, and mom wanted to take a taxi bus. I screamed at her to take the car. My stuff is inside. When we get when we got home, I'll take it out, and you can do whatever with the car after, screaming at her forever. She came down and walked over to a white truck 
and opened it and I said not this one she grabbed a bag and the camera I said you don't leave it in someone else's car where someone can take it she started to put the stuff in a back of another car and I said Robin from GH grab the stuff my mom got the dog and not the camera so I yelled at Robin to get the camera I said it's over and over until I wake up I was 27 when I had that dream and that was a weird dream if you know what these dreams mean let me know in the comments down below here's the next ones right there that's what the book looks like inside 8 24 2008 wow what a dream but it was a cool crazy and got to kick carly from gh's butt i hate and i hate her on general hospital i don't know how to start this but my older brother we were in his room where it all took place the bath the bathroom had a door over the tub on the wall my older brother knocked knocked there i don't know what that means i asked this guy to open it i was scared this thing would come back don't know what that thing is so this guy who i thought it was dan from big brother 10 but my mind is saying it's jason morgan from general hospital he was really helping me out the thing is we got these cards to go see people to meet and he helped to be it for me when i would flirt with him and stuff carly would get jealous of it then the guy went to sit down I went to sit on his lap, put my arms around him, and put my head on him, and he said, no, don't. I said, no, it's okay. I think I kissed him, and Chloe jumped up. As she didn't did that, she got Bloody Mary drink all over her dress. I ran off, and we started yelling don't have a clue what was what we was yelling at people was like didn't know what to do I saw a red drink on the car like thing and threw it on her and she tried to get me back but she missed then I went to grab a Bloody Mary to drink I hate this drink the guy who looked like some someone from General Hospital no, 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 that has, and I don't know what it had. I said, it's okay, I can handle it. Then took a drink and said, this is good. Can't even taste the, what it had in it. Sorry. So, oh, Sonny said to a guy, yes, then I turned into something from General Hospital. I can't really read the last part, but yeah, we'll just go with September 4th, 2018 dream. I was at work packing up my stuff. I found a bee poo and said, oh, to my cousin, my oldest cousin, who belongs to my uncle. We like this, so I'm going to take it and give it to her. And so I packed it, and then I found a bag with a bag with scrapbook stickers inside, and I packed it too. Took a few baby shirts for my nephew. We got into my mom's car. Me, my mom, my ex sister in law now, and my middle brother, and no nephew. Mom said. She wanted to check out some garage sales. I, s I spelled my middle brother's and ex-sister-in-law's small, small stuff. I 
don't know. And my middle brother took my mom. Don't get mad that Stacy has to pick it all up on the way. There was small eyes and nose and music things like flutes and saxophones. Huh? Huh? And whatnot. We got home and I said, You didn't want to stop by any garage sales, Mom said. I'm thinking about going back and stopping by this one I, I saw. I said to my cousin, who's the youngest in the family, who's my uncle's kid, said, we can take a few shirts of, of his for my nephew, for your nephew, or, yeah. So I took these and showed her. My middle brother was outside, and my ex-sister-in-law, I didn't know where she went. After that, the dream went to me trying to get a hotel room for one night. I had to get this guy to give it up, and I left the room to check out the place. And when I got back, this couple was in my room, and I said, What are you doing in my room? They said, It's their room. I said, Where is my bags? She said, We threw you, thought you, forgot them, and so we were going to take them to the front desk. I said, This is... This one is mine. That one belongs to a guy I work with tonight. I asked to see their ticket so I can see where they messed up at. Find out they paid more. Found out they paid more. They think because they pay more they get the room. I let them have the room because they had more stuff. She put her underclothes on my bag and I said, here, this is yours. Your boyfriend will like you in that tonight. She said, thank you. I went to the front desk to ask them why they put two other people in my room. She said, take me to the room. So it, so as we while walking to the room, it changed to the food store. She stopped feeling, following me to play with the food. I tried for five to ten minutes to find my way back to the hotel room. Then I woke up. Okay. I'm ready for the uh, next one. September 11, 2008. I have dreams a lot. I dream a lot. If you know what any of these mean, let me know in the comments down below. I had a crazy dream about Big Brother Ted and Jesse McCartney and I don't know who this other person is. Oh, somebody at my work. It started out, I was at a desk and my hair was wet, and Jesse came over and started talking to me. I couldn't believe it at all. It felt so real where he was talking, or he was trashing me. He put a towel over my wet hair, then my popster magazine fell on the floor and I went to pick it up and the stamp fell out and I was trying to fit it fit, fit fix it oh the staples fell out and I tr was trying to fix it I couldn't spell too well back then and Jesse came over and started to fix it then after that, I went outside to check on Memphis, Dan, Jerry from Big Brother 10. Because today they was moving back into the house that was not the Big Brother house. Weird, I know. I was trying to flirt with Dan. Got an old spider web stuck on me and I was trying to get it off when the girl I work with came over saying, how is it going today? They're back in the house, and that was it. 
OK. Next one. October 1st, 2018. Weird but cool dream. I was on a cruise ship with famous people. Somehow, I got away from my mom and was going back to the room to get my camera and let my mom know what I was up to. And if she needed me to... to call the... to... to something the Nicholas from General Hospital. I can't really... F it looks like it says to call the Nicholas from... Oh, okay, to call. The Nicholas from General Hospital and he said came with me and he took me to where all the other famous people are at. I said to him, I can't go in there. He said, it's okay, you're with me. So I went in and I realized I didn't have my camera to take pictures and Nicholas walked off and leaves me alone. So I leave to go get my camera and my mom walks up and says, there you are. I said, I was going to the room to leave a note. I was with Nicholas in, in the room with all the other famous people. She said, did you get any? Pics? Pictures? I said, no, I didn't have my camera with me. Then it changed to me in the sky in a weird looking car. I don't know the guy in his name or what he looks like, but he took me to go look at a house with him so he could move in. I jumped out of the car and tried to shoot the, shut the door, and it wouldn't lock. And I told him to help me, and he said, you have to move this thing to the left side. I said, that's weird. So I kept doing that. And I said, someone could still open the door and steal the car. He said, it's okay. It's too high up. And they will not want to. I woke up after that. And then the next night, I had another dream. On October 2nd, 2008. I had the weirdest but coolest dream ever. I was getting ready to go to the Hanson concert on a bus. This guy from work was there. And my cousin, cousins, my aunt's youngest, best friend was there. And she hated me a lot. We was on a bus and she threw my bed out the window. And I got really mad at her and grabbed her by the hair and said, you paying me for everything I've lost? Then my friend from work said, here, it's right here. They took us to their place with lots of bathrooms. It was a round, round off and no walls. We had to wash our hands before going to the concert and one girl was taking forever. Before that, I just remembered I had to stand in line for something don't know what for. I was second in line and I forgot my ticket so I had to go back and get it and Alexis from General Hospital was there and I asked her to hold my spot and she said she would and the line kept moving. Then I saw my friend in line waiting. So back to the bathroom part, I thought everyone left and I didn't know how to get to the concert, so I went back in to tell the girl, t girls to hurry up. My mom sh showed up, and I asked her if she was going in, and she said she has to, and I said, I hope we get good seats. After that, I woke up. October 7, 2008. I had a dream that I was at Little People Big World the Roloff's house with Jeremy. My mom came to pick me up with a younger man and I had my big black pink bag with me. I had ninja turtles that Jacob gave me. As I was leaving I realized I didn't have my shoes on and I couldn't find them so I was going to look in the car. When I got in I went for my mom my camera to get a picture of the house which was not the house you see on the show it was different when I got to the car 
I had my sandals on and the car was so big and tall. Mom spotted the no, mom opened the door and I was trying to get in and somebody I work with who was driving said, we need to hurry up because we can't just sneak up on them. I woke up after that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Want to hear more? Because this video is getting long. Go to part two.